I'm pleased to share this devotional with you today about God's love. God's love, I'm sure all of us uh, have the feeling that, that God is love and that he does take, take care of us as his people. But I think it's a very complex thing, how God loves us and how he shows his love and demonstrates his love towards us uh, over the years. It's a thought that uh, we cannot uh, explore entirely in just a short devotional, but we're going to just look at one small aspect from Matthew chapter 6. Matthew 6 is right in the middle of the Sermon on the Mount, and it is likely a, a section of scripture that you're very familiar with. I'm going to read this passage, and then I want to share you a story and just have you ponder a little bit further about God's love for you and for me today. Matthew 6, verse 25. For this reason I say to you, do not be anxious for your life as to what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor for your body as to what you shall put on. Is not life more than food and the body than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, that they do not sow. Neither do they reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. And are you... Are you not worth much more than they? And then skipping uh, down a little bit uh, further. But if God so arrays the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace, will he not much more do so for you, O men of little faith? Here's a passage that talks about God's love, that he loves his people and that he takes care of us. And he talks about this in relation to the birds and uh, that they don't uh, uh, sow, meaning uh, place a, a, a seed in the ground, or reap, meaning uh, harvest it. Yet God takes care of them. Of course, we see birds uh, around us uh, all the time. Uh, maybe you are a bird watcher. Uh, I'm less so. Um, but uh, now and then there's a, a time where I, I really recognize that uh, there are birds uh, uh, nearby. Last night, I was out uh, just uh, cutting in some hedges. Um, our um, property has a, a number of, uh, of bushes that need to be trimmed back, and I've got some hedge clippers, and I was out uh, uh, cutting some things just to, to thin it out uh, a bit. And several of the bushes had, had grown together, and these bushes were about, oh, maybe uh, six feet high. So I was uh, cutting and trimming things back to separate uh, the bushes, uh, one from the, from the other. But wouldn't you know, as I was cutting through some of the bushes, um, it exposed a, a very small nest. Um, and I decided I was going to look at this nest thinking that, well, here's this uh, uh, small nest. And my guess is that there's, there's nothing that's, uh, that's there. But as I tipped the branches down, I found two very, very small, what turned out to be catbirds. Their eyes weren't even open. Uh, but I could see their beaks, uh, yellowish, uh, orange beaks. And I thought, this is amazing. Uh, here I am uh, looking at uh, th these two very, very small birds, uh, defenseless and helpless. So I went inside and I, I thought I'd show the family. And I brought uh, Andrea out, out to take a look at uh, this very small nest uh, with uh, these uh, very uh, small uh, chicks with inside of it. And then once again, I bent down the nest so that she could see them, since so she's smaller than me. And uh, I didn't bend it down uh, far as far as uh, before, but uh, you could see as I started to bend it down, their little beaks starting to perk up from, uh, pick up from the, the nest. Uh, and it was, it was very uh, uh, touching uh, for both of us. And as we were doing that, uh, uh, the mother flew by. And I knew there must be a, a bird somewhere in the area to look after this, these uh, just small uh, little ones. Uh, but she flew by, and I knew uh, that she was, of course, wanting to take care of her birds, uh, her uh, very small uh, young ones. Now, this is just one picture of many that, uh, that we have of, from nature, but uh, it fits in line with this scripture text very well that God looks after the birds. They don't sow and they don't reap. And yet he takes care of them. And brothers and sisters, uh, there are lots of things in this world that we can't do. Uh, we can't cause the sunshine to rise. Uh, we can't cause the rain to come. Uh, we can't cause uh, our health uh, to be uh, uh, great or, or less. So we can do sm some small things, but it's really the Lord who's in charge of these things. 
And when we see maybe a defenseless bird and we read these uh, scripture texts, we're reminded of uh, a Heavenly Father who cares for us. And I hope that uh, even in the midst of uh, uh, troubling stories that we have uh, from the news, uh, that we'll step back and just appreciate how God looks after us, even uh, like the birds. They don't sow and they don't reap, and yet God cares for them. Brothers and sisters, God cares for you today, and uh, he loves you. Let me close this with a word of prayer. Thank you, our Father, for uh, the birds of the air. Thank you, most of all, uh, for your care that you have for us. And when it seems as if uh, the world uh, doesn't care, we choose to trust in you. Help our hearts uh, to be peaceful today and help us to be thankful. We love you, Lord, and thank you most of all that you love us. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Have a good day.